in, in Indonesia for two years and I was doing a project on um, outcome of schizophrenia. I was working with a lot of people who were mentally ill. And one of, the, uh, one of my subjects was, uh, was an older man um, who I interviewed for every month for an hour to a month for about a year. We talked about his whole life, his problems he had had. It was only in our last interview, this is in 1997, that he started describing certainly the most important events of his life, which was witnessing his father's death in 1965 in Bali um, during, after the Gate Tikapules, the September 30th movement, and the subsequent uh, mass killings that occurred um, in Indonesia. And at that time, I thought it was very, it was very odd that this event, he saw his father killed, he saw many people in his village killed, and he had never spoken about it to anyone. They buried them up there. See, under that, there's a pool of blood here. I think they killed them in the front of their house. Right, good body. So I went back to the United States and um, I, I wrote, wrote papers and I was teaching at, at UCLA and then September 11th happened in our society and we saw the tremendous devastation that occurred because of this, this, this event and actually in the following year there was the, the October bombing in, in Bali. And um, I organized a conference on, on childhood and trauma and culture and the brain and looking at the effects of, of that, that um, traumatic events have on children and on children um, as they become adults and thinking about the relationship between between children's development exposure to horrific violence and trauma and how it affects their development and then um, you know I was, I was interested in mental health and health care yet it seemed to me that in order to understand um, the mental health of, of my subjects I needed to understand the history and politics of, of that period so I was working on documentary films we had we had done a film on 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 Tourette syndrome which is a psychiatric disorder on schizophrenia and I realized a film on post-traumatic stress disorder in relation to history and culture would be really quite valuable so we began interviewing people about um, about the events of, of 65 and the, the end result was a film called 40 years of silence which which is which um, is about four families um, all of whom lost family members in, in 65 and 66 or had family members sent to uh, Blue Island as political prisoners as, as Taupol and what's happening in Indonesia today to these people and then at the same time so there's four stories of four adults all of whom as children you know witnessed and experienced tremendous stress and trauma and fear and also because they lived under the new order um, with this this the status of Tidak Bersi Lincoln and his unclean environment status uh, the, the goal is to have as many people see it as as possible and to and to um, and to get as much dialogue going as possible both in in the United States about this event because uh, and, and in Indonesia also our new president uh, President Obama you know um, Moved, lived in Indonesia right after this period and in his in his biography in the audacity of hope he talks extensively about living in Indonesia as a whole chapter and about what happened when he moved to Munteng Dalam and his stepfather was was Javanese what happened all around him were people who had had family members taken away who had had who had had, who had witnessed killings who's who who had suffered tremendously during this period of great disruption in 1965 and 66 so he president obama knows intimately about what what it was like to grow up in this atmosphere because he lived there for for five years one of our hope is is getting the film to president obama and having him make a statement um about about 1965 and what can be done to prevent things like this from happening in the future.